Today we're back with more cross out and finally the guy who has been leaving the comment about the crow copter for ages found the right one. It's called Missile UFO EX. And uh let's just say that this thing is ridiculously good. And I don't know what people are gonna say from me making this video, but uh you know uh <laughs> We've done aerial support builds in the past, but none quite like this. Uh, so you can cloak up with this thing, and then you can also fly in the air and launch off your missiles. And as you're flying in the air, uh, they'll cool down, and then you can just keep going right back at it. And that, I believe, helps with your missiles. The more you rotate, the quicker the missiles reload. And about the only thing you need to worry about is where am I right now? Hold, I went over the invisible wall, guys. <laughs> Look at the trees. <laughs> Wait, I'm so far. How do you even? Wait, so this is a problem. How do you even control this thing? Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen anything be this far out of bounds? I wonder if it's like I. I wonder if the trick is I gotta figure out how to use this because obviously. You don't want to go too far away because then your missiles are not going to hit and it's kind of pointless. So, oh, 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 we got to get that that drifting going on. Okay, so if we hit, if we just go up, I wonder if we just, all we need to do is go up and then we have to turn. Okay, let me do that again. I, I, I think I know what I need to do to get it to actually work properly. I think it's more so a matter of the spinning than it is going up. And I think that's what's going to like wind up getting me like, so let me, I got to do this to start out with, right? And we can launch our missiles off. And then when we're in the air, we just need to hold, I think, that to stabilize a little bit. And then go up a little bit more. Let go. And then do it again. And you can control it a little bit easier. But once you start in a in a in a path, you can't really get out of it. I mean you're like you're stuck in it, you know? There's really no way for me to get out of this. And now that everything's too far. So obviously there's going to be more people than just that in the battlefield. But I, I don't know how I don't know I should know how effective this is going to be. We're going to find out. But I can see why it's so good because you stay flying the whole time. There was one other build that we played with a while ago, and I don't know what it was. But essentially it didn't do it didn't do this. It just stayed in one spot and spun constantly and i didn't know it at the time how what it what it did if anybody knows or remembers that video and knows the name of the build please let me know because there's no way i'm gonna find that so i guess the real question is can i stay in the air for the entirety of the match let's uh find out if that's possible okay here we go we are on sector x this build is not going to be worthwhile at all on this map because of the simple fact of what it is also another thing to consider the ceiling height like there's a there's now a skybox height and then not only that but there's also um kind of the way that the missiles are going to land i don't think this is going to be able to be controlled as easily as some of the other ones some of the other builds that i play with are by far way easier to control probably than this thing will be and not only that like there's the one that i played multiple times it's got to be really really good there's also wow we actually landed some shots on that guy also the fact that we only have a limited amount of like thrust before we're kind of out of like commission you see i have 54 now so that's already gone down um we're actually hitting this guy then guys there was another build that was like a top and that thing was so freaking amazingly good but i do not remember the name of it and if anybody knows the name of that please feel free to comment that below because that one was by far I think the best one but the other one that I've played multiple times uh, is definitely able to be controlled and you have a little bit more mobility too like you can actually move around the map and do different things and stuff um, I really like that one but I you know I don't know just curious to know what you guys think and which one you have seen that is by far your favorite okay so I'm I'm out of the fight here already out of the thrust so since they've changed that um it's a little bit different and not as easy to kind of manage these types of builds it makes these builds like pretty useless um and so i i'm gonna try to find some other aerial builds for this video and just see 
what we can get into. There's only two left, so it's almost it's almost over. Uh, but this build, I don't know why that guy is hyping it up so much. The, the other one that I played with is way better than this thing. I mean, this isn't bad, but uh, it's kind of cool because you can stay in the air for so long. Maybe it was better when... <laughs> gosh, I can't even... Maybe it was better when it when you didn't have to use the thrust like the way that you do. I don't know. Um, but uh, now it's... I don't know. Y you get... Maybe on like map like bridge or something like that could be a little bit better. But bridge bridge has a pretty big height uh, ceiling. The map that's actually probably the easiest to use this on is uh, Broken Arrow because it has a really low one, and so you can just like kind of hover in the air and get a lot of shots. Up. You just got to get close to people, you know. Okay, so the other aerial support type of build is a missile tower, and this missile tower I think is named Maga Adam. I think is who's by, and uh, this is probably one of the best ones uh, simply because of the fact that. You can actually drive this one very, very easily. Some of the other ones you can't drive at all, and so you're stuck. This also has a, uh, a car jack. Um, the only problem is with this is that there's not a lot of cover in this on this map because I'm gonna get my missile tower like actually shot out. If I kind of go anywhere, it looks maybe. Okay, let's just try it. Go. Yeah, I'm gonna get shot up here. So we're gonna move. Oh! I've lost my rear already. Unfortunately, I think I have to kind of wait until people kind of clear out. Oh, you know what actually might be a good spot to go? Is back here. If I can actually manage to get back here without dying. Let's try it. I don't know if they'll look for me back here. Oh crap, there's one down there. Hoping that's just that turret, dude. Oh, crap, I did not think about this. Nope, not going to work. Going to have to play it normally. Stuck on my thing. That guy, what? 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 What happened? What just happened right there? I guess, I, I mean, I guess, I mean, I guess we'll do this just like this <laughs> little mini tower over here. I want to target this dude that's right here, but I can't, I couldn't lock onto him. I don't know. I also don't know if I should do that now. There we go. What's up guys? Uh Oh, they're not coming for me. They're just leaving me here. I've got like barely any HP left. Oh crap. I meant to jump. <laughs> with the jump out of the way of that dude <laughs> okay we'll try that again maybe on a different on a better map that's more suited to a build like that okay we're in a build uh it's a little bit of a modification for something from the exhibition uh uses the utilizes the cheetah uh but you basically stay in place with this one uh the one in the exhibition has the small boosters this one has the hermes so you get the i think it's what 40 additional boost ammo capacity it's probably capacity is better word for it I mean, I love the sound of the cyclone. So then you would just spin like this to bring it back online quicker. Getting those missiles up. But once you spin, you're pretty much stuck in place. And there's no way to get out of it. You can kind of wobble, I guess. But there's really not a whole lot you can do once you've started. And the other thing is, is that this is very, very, very specific to the map that you play. Because... Like, if you're playing, like, something like Old Town, you're going to wobble around, you're going to hit stuff, and, like, something like that happens where you just fly all over the place, and there's really no way for you to stop. More settle down. You just kind of spin until you stop, <laughs> and then you can move again. So you really got to... I mean, this type of build is not very good, uh, especially because it wants it, it wants it, you hit something, it kind of gets out of control. The top build, though, that is... that That build was... Amazing. Alright, let's just do it right here. Right on the open, why not? Gotta make it happen. We gotta make something happen, right? It's coming at you, man. I wonder if I could just tap it and give it a little tap, tap, tap a uh, What are you gonna hit? Wow, that toe messed me up. I somehow survived though. Oh, I'm not gonna survive this one though. 
10 HP left. Here comes the last one. Oh no, Wobble. You guys like, wait, how is he still alive? Wait, that guy's still alive? No way. Is it that Ewok guy? You walk, you try you cause another problems over here? Hey We're gonna lose the cap right now. I can't really do anything. Yeah, keep moving away. That's the smart thing to do. I got ten HP left. I'm somehow still hitting people. Don't know how, but I am. You walk, where'd you go, bro? I'm good, I'm good. I can drive, I can drive. Come on. Okay, you walk's coming in. There we go. Light him up! Coming at you, dude! Can't avoid those. You can't avoid. You can't run away from that. You can't avoid the the rain raining from the sky. Not gonna happen. So guys, let me know which missile build do you think is best? The missile tower, this one that I just played, or this thing? Which I I don't I don't know. I I don't understand. I don't necessarily think this thing's anything amazing. The other aerial support build was way superior to this thing, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, in the comments below, let me know which one you think is the best. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Having a great day. Things are going well. Uh, some of them, I I'll say this much. Uh, play with a conventional build. These you these missile builds are weird and uh, I don't know. They're not good for a team, you know? They're not good for team purposes. Uh, but they're they're definitely interesting, to say the least. But yeah, I would I would... Definitely rather play with a more conventional build that's going to get you uh, just a better result. You know what I mean? So that's my two cents. I don't know. Take it or leave it. I don't really care. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day. Things are going well. Flip over already, man. Come on, you thing. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks uh, thanks for always supporting the channel, checking things out. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, see you guys in the uh, in the next one. Yeah! <laughs> Look at how high you can get in this thing. You go out of the freaking map, man. Yep, that's that's what's gonna happen right here. We're going out of the map. I'm gonna try to get a screenshot of this somehow. I don't even know how it's gonna happen. Wow! There it goes.